This is Abiodun Shoy, the CEO of Smart Stitches. I want to show you how to measure basic uh, measurement on your body. Guys, I'm, I will take you on a measurement for the top, men native top, and the trouser. So, we'll be starting from the shoulder. Yes. This is how you measure your shoulder. You can see average men are usually 18, 17, 18. But for this guy now, he's 16. The shoulder, then from the shoulder, I take the chest. Then this, how you measure your chest. Now, if you are to so native fitted for someone, as you get it this way, you add three inch for the allowance. You add three inch. So usually, if I want to measure my chest now for someone, if I do it this way, I'll have to free like three inch. You can see now thirty eight. You get it now. Then from the chest, I measure the waist of the top. Then we have thirty one here. Remember. You have to free it. I still include three inch free allowance, not seems allowance to free. Uh -huh. So this 34 here. Then this side, this other waist you are seeing here is for the trouser. Then I'll proceed now to measure the sleeve. I measure the sleeve from this area where the shoulder measurement ends. That is where I'll take up the sleeve and I'll have to end it at the wrist. If it's long sleeve, then if it's short sleeve, I'll end it around the arm here, the upper arm. Then if it's three quarter, I'll end it below the elbow. You can see if it's three quarter now, three quarter is 16, while the short sleeve is 10. And let me show you again. I'm taking the sleeve from shoulder here down to the wrist. To the wrist, if it's long sleeve, this is 24. Then if it's short sleeve, I will end the measurement at the upper arm, which is 10. And if it's three quarter, I will end it below the elbow. 16. I'll measure this leaf from up shoulder here, from here down to the wrist, if it's long sleeve. Now, the long sleeve, we have to make, take it from upper shoulder down to the wrist. You can see it's 24. Then, if it's short sleeve, we'll end it at the upper arm. Which is 10. It depends on the size of the person. It can go for 9, 10, and 11. Then, if it's 3 quarter, we have 3 quarter, it, ha it has to end at below the elbow. This is 3 quarter, below the elbow. Then, I'll proceed now to measure the round sleeve and the wrist. Now, the round sleeve here. Is 14. This is how you measure round sleeve. Then we we'll come down to measure. If you are making three quarters as well, you have to measure the round sleeve where the sleeve ends. Uh -huh. Then this is the round sleeve of long sleeve. Of long sleeve. If you are going for cuff links. This is how you, you measure. Cufflinks, this is how you measure. You can see 9.5 or 9. Now, then I'll take the measurement for the armhole. It's very important. Take for the armhole. You free it a bit under. You free it a bit. And it has to be free. You can see. Then we have 20 here. We have 20. To some, it can go for 
21, 22. But for this average length is 20. That is it on the body measurement. Now, sorry, um, before I proceed to measure the trotter, I have to measure the top length, the native length. So this is the line from here to from the upper shoulder down to where it will end. Now, there's the length. For average man, um, we take 35 down to the knee for some people 35 is upper above the knee then you can take a minimum 40 that is around the knee i will still have down below the knee then like that going down to the ankle it depends on your client choice so for this guy now the measurement of his top is ending here, which is 35. So from here, we'll proceed to measure the trouser, how to take trouser measurement. The trouser measurement, like I usually take the length first. I take the length first, but some people do start from the waist. But this is how I take my measurement. I will start from the men. Remember, this is the waist, the trouser waist. Place my tape in so. You bring it down to the ankle. Down to the ankle. And you have your 42. Then you also take it down to your knee length. We have 25. Then, now proceed to measure the waist. Proceed to measure his waist. Waist is 31. The trouser I'm taking its measurement now is zip trouser, English trouser. Waist is 31. Remember in my previous video, I said if we're taking rope trouser, trouser with rope, we don't need to measure the waist. So this, that is why we're measuring waist here now because the trouser we're about to cut for this is zip trouser. So 31. Then you also measure the hip. You measure the hip. You see, this is the hip. You measure the hip. Then we proceed to measure the tie. Let me measure it from this side. Proceed to measure the tie. You measure it so. You have to free it a bit. You can see. You have to free it a bit. This is 23. Then you proceed to measure the new circumference. The round new. Measure the round new. You have 17. Remember, as you take from the length, you make sure to note your knee length. And that is where you measure your round knee when cutting your fabric. Then you equally come down to measure the ankle. The ankle. Now, some people, this is the mistake some people make. When you're measuring ankle, if you want to get it right, measure it this way. This way. Watch me. From the heel here, you bring it this way. If you want to measure ankle, this is 13 now. Now, when you bring it like this, you see it is free. So it can show that even no matter how fitted it is, it will be easy for your client to pull off his leg. So thank you. That is it on measure basic measurement on men's native and trouser this abiodun shrine this ceo of smart stitches i want to show you how we measure uh we take abada measurement we have two types of abada we have the maxi and we also have mini abada now the maxi abada is this 
is the type you measure that we get to the ankle or before the ankle and the sleeve length has to cover the tip of your finger or around the palm you get that yes so it's very simple then the uh, mini albada is a tie that is be from between here and just below your knee, between uh, your below and um, um, below your elbow and in between below your elbow and before your uh, I mean the upper arm. That is, is it for the mini abada. But the measurement I'm about to take now is for mini abada not the usual maxi abada the bigger type you know so first of all we'll take the measurement we only have two measurements for abada that is the length and the shoulder the length and the shoulder so we'll start we'll place our tape from here from the uh shoulder down to Now, this is the length of the abada we're making use of. It's just below the, the nail, 51. Below the nail is 51. Then, remember, I said we have the maxi and the uh, mini abada. So, if this person, if this man can happen to be a human being, I will have to ask to stretch his arm. But as it is, since I'm making use of this manicure. So, now I want to measure the, the shoulder now. Now, you have to take it from this, you know, you, you notice there is a bone here. Every man has bone at this center. That is where you place your tape. I don't know what it's called, but they just say it that way. You have bone here. So you place your tape there and you bring it down to where the hand will end. We have it here, this 22. 22. But if it's the usual, like I said, the, the mini agbada will get to the elbow. The elbow here, that is how the person wants it. Some, you can allow it to be at the, before the at the upper arm, sorry, at the upper arm. Then, if it's the Maxi Agbada, remember you have to take it down to around your palm or at the tip of your finger, your fingertip. So that is it. Like I